Mr. McCoy here for the eighth edition of African Folktale Theater, featuring today's African Folktale, the story of Muhammadu. Here it comes. In olden times, there lived a man called Muhammadu, a woodcutter. The bundles of wood which he collected, he brought to the marketplace in the town to sell. Unfortunately, where he lived, there were not many trees or bushes so that the work did not bring him much profit. Muhammadu had no wife, but he worked very hard in order to save enough money to be able to afford one. He dug a hole in the ground in his compound, and in the hole he hid his money. He put in the hole all the money he earned from his woodcutting, keeping out only what he needed to buy food. When Muhammadu had collected by his hard work and saved enough money to afford a wife, he dug up his money and left his town. He left behind him the gates and the walls and went to a small village in the bush. In the village he met a girl who agreed to be his wife. Muhammadu therefore went to the father of the girl and the marriage was arranged. Everyone in the village came to the marriage celebration. There was a great feast at which Muhammadu's wife received many presents, cloth, basins, pots, and corn. Muhammadu himself brought or bought much corn and many mats, and he bought donkeys to carry the loads. When it was time for Muhammadu to return to his town, he loaded his donkeys with the cloth, the basins, the mats, the pots, the corn, and all the belongings of himself and his newly married wife. He said farewell to the people in the village and he and his wife set out on their journey. When he reached the gates and walls of the town, Muhammadu said to his wife, this is the town where I live and here is where we shall settle and prosper. This gate is where we shall enter. There were many camels and donkeys and people entering the gates. Many of the people were greatly surprised to see Muhammadu, the woodcutter, arriving with a wife and with donkeys heavily laden with goods and foodstuffs. Muhammadu met one of the most important counselors of the town, a man whose title was Galadima. Muhammadu made polite greetings to the Galadima and then went on with his wife and his possessions to his compound. During the night, thieves entered Muhammadu's compound and bound Muhammadu and his wife with ropes. The thieves had sharp knives and they said they would kill Muhammadu and his wife if they cried out. So saying, they took the donkeys and the corn, the cloth and everything that was in the compound. They did not leave one pot, they did not even leave one needle. Share your opinion about the first half of the story of Muhammadu with your fellow African. Now share, what do you think is going to happen next? Share your prediction with your fellow African. As you recall, Thieves came in, bound Muhammadu and his wife, threatened to kill them, took everything, didn't even leave a needle in the compound. The next morning, Muhammadu and his wife were able to free themselves from the ropes with which the thieves had tied them. When they went out into the street, they told their neighbors what had happened. They went to the great compound of the Galadima in order to tell him their sad story. Entering the compound of the Galadima, Muhammadu and his wife heard angry voices disrupting the division of donkeys, corn, cloth, pots, mats, and other goods. It was the Galadima quarreling about his share with several men whom Muhammadu recognized as the thieves who had robbed him. Muhammadu cried out to all the people. Pointing to his belongings, he called for justice against the thieves and the Galadima, who was their master. They bound us. They threatened to kill us, Muhammadu cried. They stole, stole all that I had. I, who as a woodcutter had worked hard and saved my money. 
these happenings were quickly carried to the ears of the emir, who was the king of the town and of all the surrounding country. The emir took speedy action. He drove the Galadima from the town forever. He drove away the Galadima's followers and all the people in the Galadima's great compound. The emir called Muhammadu the woodcutter and the turban of honor was wound around the head of Muhammadu. The emir said to Muhammadu, now you are the Galadima of my town. You are the Galadima in my council. For Muhammadu, from that day on, there was increasing wealth and power. So we already know what the present Galadima was like. What kind of a Galadima do you think Muhammadu will make? Share with your fellow African. This marks the end of the story of Muhammadu. When next we gather for African Folktale Theater, we will learn about a hunter when the world began. Be sure you're in the audience for that pulse-pounding tale.